next on Tim Lizzie gets turned into a house. We're gonna do the ceiling. So we'll have basically back to front, um, really nice kind of wood that matches the floor. Uh, and then walls will be lost. Okay, so right now you might be thinking, that's a lot of lights. And I want to let you know I'm thinking the same thing. I thought I bought a 100 bulb strand. And the more I look at this, I'm starting to think I might have bought like 100 feet or something. Probably not 100, but like probably 25 or 50 feet. So um, I'm getting carpal tunnel, but I'm going to keep powering through. So this looks awesome when it's done. Starlight mood here. Pretty sweet. All right, more of the same. We are working on getting the rest of the ceiling up today. Uh, a few more bolts to put on this side. I had to move some lights around just because we had uh, some that were running into the beams, the support beams. So I should be all pretty happy now. And then we will do this front section here as best we can and uh, go from there. What you guys have all been waiting for is a little update uh, with all the time lapsing i'm trying to do a little more talking so it uh i can convey all of the knowledge that i've gained from youtube and uh various other sources but so far on the roof it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt to fit together but we've got uh pretty much all the panels in except for the one over the kitchen which i've got to go outside and cut um they are all screwed into the wood beams going across here 
And up in this front section here, there's uh, some steel that I'm gonna actually have to drill and uh, put some self tappers into just to make sure I get really good uh, attachment there and make sure this thing doesn't rattle while we're driving. So um, I did pull the uh, instant water heater down too, just to make some space up there for shoving the ceiling back over that. Um, again, my plan was to leave that pretty much exposed and leave some space around it for air to get through it to heat and cool off and all that stuff. And then I will uh, basically put the wood paneling around it and leave a hatch underneath to get to all the attachments if needed. So that's going slowly but surely. I just wanted to give everyone a quick look of how things are starting to feel more and more like a real house or tiny home or mini bus or whatever but I am sitting in our kitchen table breakfast nook here as you can see and I wanted to give you a little bit of a surround view so you can see back here obviously this is gonna be dresser and bed um, we've got ceiling all filled up you can see all the lights um, all in position bathroom like we talked about already pretty much done have to cock the edges um our kitchen work area here again these are all just the lights in the ceiling lighting this place up i turned off all my work lights and everything so this is pretty bright and again these all run off of solar um we've got the front of the bus up here we're gonna put some storage up there but yeah and then we've got these two lights right here just over the uh the kind of main kitchen table area here so if you're working or playing games or whatever You'll be able to see really well so pretty exciting that's a huge step it was super hard and i never want to do it again but it's done so we get to move on to the walls next which is going to be a crazy transformation and then finally um we'll start building out the bed and the furniture and the rest of this stuff there's lots of other little things i have to do so there might be some mini sods we have to paint these cabinets um, we have to make drawers for up there and up there and we have to paint the drawers too so we're gonna have to sand accordingly and, and then hope for a nice warm day or dry day at least where we can get out and get those things sprayed and wait for 64 hours for them to dry because it's so cold and humid here right now. But have a good night.